Greetings, fellow productivity seekers. Garland Coulson here, Captain Time, and today I want to talk about how to create your own personal knowledge base. So what's a personal knowledge base? It's a library of knowledge or documentation that you create, save, and curate yourself. Some people refer to this as your second brain. What can you keep in it? Well, you can keep uh, any information you might normally keep on a computer. You can keep typed or written notes, photos, images, articles, and information from the web, or even scanned, you know, print information can all be added to your knowledge base. So having a personal knowledge base helps you because it saves the knowledge so it isn't lost and makes this knowledge available offline as well as online and helps you find and make connections using your information. Some of the uses for personal knowledge uh, base research, reusing ideas, building reports, documenting processes, creating templates and checklists, preparing for meetings, learning, saving time, hobbies and interests. I use it for a lot of my hobbies and interests. In business, knowledge bases are often used to help customers. Think of a frequently asked questions section on a website. So, I want to talk about the difference between a personal knowledge database or base and your work knowledge base. So your personal knowledge base goes with you wherever you work. If you change jobs, it goes with you. It's personal. You lose access to any knowledge bases you have at work when you leave. So if there's a, a place, a knowledge database at work and how to do things, that's gone when you leave. So this is why it's very important to set up a personal one in addition to your work ones. Now some of you say, well, can I just use the internet? Can I just go ahead and search on the internet? There's a number of problems with that. First off, useful information you found once might be removed when you go back to find it again or not be as easily findable the second time. And you've probably found this. You've searched eight different ways and you can't seem to find that one article that said exactly what you needed. You also cannot work offline with the internet as well. I had a case where the internet went down in our area for half the day and I had an article to write. And fortunately, I'd already clipped a variety of articles into my knowledge database on the topic. So I just referred to those and started with those. It's very difficult to add notes and context to internet things. So you find a website, but how do you add a note to it? How do you, you know, connect it to other things? So you can't really do that on the internet as easily as you can with your own personal knowledge database. And articles that you have read and chose to save are stronger and more relevant than random new articles on the internet on a topic. So remember, you didn't choose to save most of the articles you read. So the articles that you've saved are stronger than the new articles. So what software should you use? There's no one perfect software for your personal knowledge database. You can use Evernote, OneNote, or other notes programs to create your own. Uh, I'm using Upnote, and I have an Upnote review uh, video if you want to look at it, uh, just because I find it's a very clean, minimalist look. Uh, this is OneNote, you, uh, Upnote, sorry, you can see it here. I like that it's got web clipping, it's got bi-directional linking of notes, good support, multi-platform and device, and, and I just overall like the look of it. So my approach to personal knowledge databases are to teach people how to commit to them, how to collect, how to curate your knowledge, and then how to use them effectively. So the first thing is to commit fully to your knowledge base because a knowledge base where you just dump information into and never look at it, it's a waste of your time. Why did you save it in the first place if you're never going to look at it? So your knowledge base needs to be the first place you go to find information, not on the internet, because as I said, the um, internet new articles are not as good as your existing curated articles that you have chosen to save. Then you can, of course, supplement your knowledge base once you've worked through all the information you have currently on that topic with internet searches and other information. But then you add that new information to your base as well. So your knowledge base just keeps getting better and better. So let's talk about the collecting phase of this. So you can write notes, of course, and most note-taking programs are really good at this. But it's important while you're writing to 
uh, remember to write so that you will understand the note one year later. So you might write one word in a bullet point or something. And bullet points are great. I, I highly recommend writing notes in bullet points. But you have to be able to remember what it was about a year later. So add enough information, enough context to what your written notes so that uh, you can figure out what they are later. Web clipping saves articles to your notes system. So essentially, if you find a really good article on the web, for example, you know, this is uh, I Love Space, so this is an interesting article on uh, Ganymede, largest moon in the solar system. I can just click on my web clipper here uh, with Upnote and do that, and now the article will be automatically clipped into my, into my uh, area here. Uh, as you can see, it's already into in my... Uh, my up note here. Email capture. You can forward emails into most notes programs or capture them or find a way to do that. You can scan printed items or articles you want to save. And one of the things I do a lot with notes is when I'm out and about, uh, especially when I take my daily walks, my back burner gets working and I get lot, lots of my best ideas while I'm on my walks, then I take uh, notes on my smartphone and I use voice to text so I just open up my notes program in this case Upnote and I just speak into it and automatically the program converts my voice to a text note. Okay so you've got all this useful information but how do we make connections with it? How do we make the content more useful? So one thing is to curate your notes uh, you know to kind of figure out where do they go? What notebook do they go in? Do I need to add graphics, highlighting or colors to highlight the part that was really important? Also during the curation process, you dump notes you no longer feel are current or needed. Uh, you, know, you say, okay, is this article really worth making part of your knowledge? You can tag notes using an at symbol plus a keyword to make them easy to search. And you can also link to other notes. So for example, here's my uncategorized. These are where new ones come uh, come in to play here and then so these are some you know cryptocurrency ones here so what do I want to do with this I could read it I could tag it you know I could add tags here like crypto and things like that and if or I could add any other notes to it and then when I'm ready to uh, save it I could add it to my notebooks and then I can go ahead and look and see which notebook do I want to add it to let's add it to crypto in this case and now it's been added to there. So it's no longer uncategorized. It's It's been categorized there. So uh, here's a uh, Kickstarter for a board game I'm quite intrigued by called War Room by the makers of Axes and Allies. So this is one, one for the future I might be interested in. So if I right click on that and I can go um, add to notebooks that's going to be under personal entertainment, I think, would be a good spot for that one. And I'm going to go ahead and add that there. And again, there's other things I can do to it. I could add a to-do to this. Uh, for example, if I said, okay, well, I want to check this back in three months and, and see, if it, see if they're shipping, then I could go ahead and add a add you know a to-do item in here or something like that. So that's how you curate. So all of my new notes come into uncategorized and then I can go ahead and add some information here and then I can you know put them where they're supposed to go and add tags to them and add context. And you can also add links to them as well. So for example if I go to the uh, back to this one here, and I'd like to add another link to it. Let's say I talked about Upnote. Uh, let's say I want to find my other upload load, uh, tag, you know, tag things. Here's one on up, a welcome to Upnote note, so then I can go ahead here and add links to it. And when I click on information, I can see if anybody has linked to to this particular uh, one as well. So that's the curation, uh, you know, tag it, add links to it, put it into a notebook. Now keep in mind that an, even a note that's uncategorized is already in your system, okay? So if I wanted to find uh, anything to do with moons <clears throat> and I search and it says no, no search in quick access because that's where I was, go search all notes. <coughs> now it's got every, every note here that has the word moon in it. So you can see it found the Feast Your Eyes on Ganymede. Uh, see, it's got the ultimate guide to observing the moon. So all these different ones have, 
you know, have moon in it, and then you can easily search. So even if it's uncategorized, uncurated, it's already in your personal uh, knowledge base and already usable. Okay, so how, now now using this, okay, so we're dumping information into it and we're curating it. So it's really important that you make this part of your daily routine to use it. So you need to live in this system. When you're researching, you need to start here. This needs to be the first place you go for info. So you need to stop just doing a random search on the internet because these notes are not as strong as your other notes. You need to be, every time you find something useful on the internet, you need to add it. To your personal knowledge base. I often read uh, using a tool called Feedly. I read a lot of news. I, I subscribe to a lot of news feeds that way. And whenever I find a really good article, I drop it into my upnote into my personal knowledge database so it's here. You need to be continually pruning, adding context, but be careful not to spend so much time organizing your knowledge base using intricate tag um, you know, trees or whatever that you don't actually use the system. And I've seen people do this, that they're spending far too much time organizing it. Remember that a quick search of all notes is likely going to find most things on that topic. Tagging is maybe to just make it a little bit more specific, or if you wanted to tag something for a, a certain project. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe button. That helps other people find the video and brings more people uh, to our channel. And, um, you know, we also welcome you if you want to become a member of our inner circle by becoming a Patreon member. You can contact me using one of the links below. Please tell me if you use a personal knowledge database, what you, how you find it works for you, any problems you're having and things like that. Thank you so much for listening.